There are four factors that affect rate, temperature, concentration, particle size, and catalysts or inhibitors. Generally, most reactions speed up with higher temperatures and slow down from lower temperatures. Particles at a higher speed move faster and have more collisions and therefore more reactions than particles at lower temperatures. If the particles are in a smaller volume, they're more likely to collide into one another. This will increase the amount of reactions. If there are more surfaces for the reactions to take place, they can take place faster. A small surface area to volume ratio will increase the rate of reaction. A sugar cube will dissolve slower than crushed sugar. Catalysts increase the rate of reaction without being used in the reaction. In fact, they can even be reused in the reaction multiple times because they don't actually take part in the reaction. Inhibitors interfere with the action of the catalyst by reacting with or destroying the catalyst, preventing it from speeding up the reaction. A reaction that occurs without a catalyst has to first gather enough activation energy for the reaction to occur and form products. If there is a catalyst present, the activation energy requirement is lowered. This means less energy is needed to start the reaction and then the reaction can happen more frequently. It's a lot like being able to tunnel through a mountain instead of winding along the path over a mountain. It's faster to cut through. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.